I think there's no doubt the way things are going that we will come to a time where we have computers that are equally intelligent to human beings and then even more intelligent, by which I mean being to, able to do all the functions that we do in terms of reasoning, understanding, those sorts of things, which at the moment are very hard for computers. They're, they're very good number crunchers, but awful pattern recognition things and reasoning machines. I think we will have good reasoning machines, good pattern recognition machines. I don't think that implies consciousness, though. That, that's just my own personal belief, because I think, well, they will be conscious, because I, I believe everything is conscious. And I believe, it's not just human beings, I think all animals are conscious, and that there's no way you draw the line, it's just the, the level of light gets dimmer as you go down, so that the consciousness in a bacterium is there, but it's a lot, lot dimmer than human consciousness, and then it goes down, right down to the subatomic level. And I think computers, si silicon-based systems, the level of organization is basically at the crystalline level. So I think the consciousness of a computer is there, but it's way below that of an amoeba. And I think my feeling is it will always stay there, that they won't actually wake up internally because that they haven't, they're not evolving beyond that basic structure. We're just putting a lot of those crystalline structures together. So I don't think they're actually going to have the inner awakening that we do. So they may be able to simulate the responses of a human being, but I, I don't believe they'll actually have the inner experience as we do. And there's no need for them to have. Mm -hmm. And in fact, there's very little need for human beings to have. I mean, the great question about human beings or any living system is why are we conscious? because there's nothing in science that predicts that any living system should ever be conscious. We can explain almost everything else about the world, how our bodies work, how we evolved, all this stuff, but we cannot account for the consciousness. It doesn't fit.